upon some things more time, I say, yo, but I this my learn. So all the Bible I say it right, I said, all oh, the Bible country itself. No. You're making a comparison with the Bible the and what Christians say. Man. What men say. Yeah? I think Jesus said, leave that country and hold on a country like that. It's a, um, so what, uh, what then Israel are not obtained, that's what you seek it for. Right. But the election at obtaining <laughs> the scriptures, the scriptures is directly for the elect. The elect of the nation of Israel, man. Not everybody. He said, the election had obtained it. And continue. And the rest were blinded. And the rest were blinded. This is the reason why you're reading the scriptures or we read a certain scripture to you and you're like stunned. Yeah. What is it say? I just buy a word there, God. It's something different. Because it's not meant for you to get it, man. Yeah. The, yeah. Light, the Lord blind you. They see it. From see it. See, see, yeah. They see it, but they can't comprehend. Yeah. They see can't comprehend. Yeah. Do not compute. Yeah. Do not compute. You know what I mean? You know, a Windows Phone when, when the computer, yeah, yeah. Windows 7, when, Windows, um, Windows XP, they shut down. Dun dun dun. They shut down. You know, go ahead. Reboot on them thing there, you know? Go on. It's, um, according as it is written. According as it is written, go on. God had given them the spirit God had given them a spirit of slumber. No. The reason why everybody can't get it is because the Heavenly Father Give you that spirit of slumber, man. You know what I mean? What we are saying now is like um, mystery or parables to the ears of the regular man. The scriptures will come out. The regular man can't hear it. Because the regular man will just say, oh, oh God to blind people from the scriptures. Well, the scriptures say it. And he said the election obtain it. And the rest were blinded. God had given them the spirit of slumber. <clears throat> That's what it said. God had given them the spirit of slumber. So the reason why the majority can't hear is because the most I have something in your mind resisting. What? Okay. Yeah. Right. It's, um, eyes that they should not see. Right. And ears that they should not hear until this day. So eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. Every time the Messiah speak, when he walk, when he speak, he speak in a what? Parable. And when he speak in a parable, he said to them, say, oh, who have an ears to hear, let him hear. Meaning that everybody can comprehend what he's saying because he speak at what? In parables, man. And a parable is basically a riddle. Or a dark saying. A way to say something. If you don't make people pick it up, you are talking a code. So that's how the Messiah speak. He never speak openly that everybody could have hear him and understood him and said no. Because he wasn't trying to wake up everybody. You know what I mean? My brother? So this is Mark. Uh, 4 and verse 33. Right. See, and, with many, and, uh, and with many such parables speak the word unto them. Right, so the Lord speak with many such parables, the words unto the people, man. What? See, as with many as with many such parables speak he the words unto them. Right. As they were able to hear it. Right. right. So who did they are able to hear it? Those are the ones that the heavenly father opened up. Them understanding, they understand what's going on, man. So a, but without a parable, speak he not so unto every, them. So every time him talk, he talk, he open his mouth, is a parable. Yeah. What? And when they were alone, he exposed all things to his disciples. So when the man him disciple them God, one away, then him explain what him said, what it means. Now explain to the people because it's not for everybody. You know what I mean? Working on Romans. Right? So, so, Matthew 13 and verse 9. Right. Who have an ears, let him hear. Who have an ears to hear, let him hear. 
Right. And the disciples came and said unto him, right. Why speakest thou unto them in parables? So why speakest thou unto them in parables? So that was the question. Because the disciples them say, oh, so why are you not talking? For everybody understand what you are saying. Yeah? And he respond. What? And the disciple came unto you. The disciple came uh, and 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 disciple, sorry, and the disciple came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parable? He answered and said unto them, right. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So to the disciples, it was given unto them to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. But what? But to them it is not given. To the rest of people, it wasn't given to the rest of the people, man. So why did they Wasn't given. Yeah, what? Um, 1 Corinthians um, 2 verse 6 it says right. Albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect right. Yet not the wisdom of this world We don't speak the wisdom of this world The wisdom of this world uh, hey, look. The one that the people trust in to teach them the scriptures Are the ones that go to seminary school You know Study theology and come back Calling themselves pastors And talk like say oh You know you know that uh, um, with all different type of dynamics, you know them voice. You know, those are the ones our people listen to when it come on to scriptures. See, but when you go to seminary school, that basically is the wisdom of the world. Any form of school you're going in the society, that's of the world. That was what we set up. We set up. Yep. One. The progress we set. One. Now of the princes of this world that come to not. Yeah. Verse seven. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery. So we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, and this mystery only going to be revealed to the elect. Yeah. It says even the in wisdom which the Most High. Are done before the world unto our glory. Right, so this is an inner wisdom that are then to what? Our glory. Because at the end of the day, when our work is done, we're gonna be glorified, man. It says, yeah. which none of the princes of this world knew, right. for had they known it. Hey, you know, walk up my lawn. And all them scholars and all them people you say I go to them apologists. All these people, look man. See, you can't understand the scriptures, man. It's not given unto you to know it, man. It's it's the inner wisdom, it's the inner mystery, man. The hidden manner from heaven. You know what I mean? As you bring it out, that's all you learn. If you are for learning, I'll learn on the benefit unto you. So we say it, so you get it. Says, yes. Which none of the princes of this world knew. Right. For had they known it, right. they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Right. If they knew it, they would have killed him then. And if they knew it, they would have X him out today, putting up the white image of Cesare Barjua, man. Oh, yeah. Look, man. The Lord, your yeah, Awashai, is angry at this shit. Yep. You know what I mean? And all who facilitate this man, you get, you're gonna suffer the wrath. A lot of you are shy, man. In ways where you never dream to happen to you, man. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it, man. You're gonna get it. This is, um, yep. Fucking woman to live. And verse 9, say, and David said, let the table be made a snare right. and a chop and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Right, so the tables are a snare. You know what I mean? Especially the script. scriptures is just is the tables. This is where you're supposed to eat from. You know? But hey, it's a snare unto you. You know? You're not like eating the utensils you eat from that. You know, you can't cut the meat or nothing in the meat too big, you can't push all that in your mouth. You know? Big piece of beef. <laughs> None. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, so this is Ecclesiasticus 29, and verse, start verse 2. It said, You will keep the saints of the renowned men, and where um, subtile parables are, you will be able to suck it. He will be there also. He will yep. seek out the secret of the grave sentences, right, and be con conversant in dark parables. Right, we conversant in dark. And the Lord give you that skill, man. We all got that skill to discern a parable, man. I know Christians can't figure out how, how Cain get the wife. <laughs> I know you. I know you. Bible one oh one. I know you can't figure that out. So you all go run up against what the truth. I uh, went straight and get kicked from everywhere. Yeah. That's the next thing. <laughs> so say, uh, you will seek out the secret of great sentences and be conversant in that parables. Right? You shall serve among great men and appear before princes. You will travel. To a strange country, for he had tried to put evil among men. Yeah, so this thing is a mystery, man. A mystery that is not given to everyone, yeah? This is 1 Corinthians 2, verse 14. But the natural man receive not the things of the spirit of Yahweh washing your shy. For they are foolishness unto him. Right, hey, it's not a man. I'm gonna try to pass off the Bible. I'm gonna try to pass off the Bible as a fictional story. You know? You know, I have nothing to do with nothing real. You know? Some man say, oh, he's passed off and say, oh, he's a man right now, so that can't be nothing. You know what I mean? Are people dead in night? That makes sense? That makes sense? Have people still going night? That makes sense? Yeah. Neither can you know them because they are spiritually discerned. Yeah, spiritually discerned. Yeah. Psalm 69 and verse 22 say, Let your table become a steer before same, them. Same thing. Uh, same yeah. Roman. Yeah. I want to do basically a court. court where we are Romans, right? man. Say, so when you read the Gospels, you know, basically that, that in them are the court. From what is. See? That's why we know, say, the man we go and talk about the Old Testament only. They're ignorant, man. Because they're not even studying the same scriptures them from the Old Testament. Them are quoting the New Testament. What, what, what did the Lord read? When they're in the temple. Read from the from, from book of Isaiah. I have a new book you can read. <laughs> you see me? Or a new scroll with some new writing. No. You know what I read from the Apostle Paul? <laughs> you know? See? Huh? That's why I um, say the Romans as it is written. As it is written. See? Bring it down. Romans 14 verse Romans 15 verse 4. This is Romans 15, right, and verse 4. So for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. Yeah, and open what? The promise, man. See? Hey, and and I was just this, this is the promise here. We will, we will rub it in you Christian's face, man. Because you, you, if you try, take the Bible from any other angle, you're going to fail. Kick your foot and drop uh, your feet. Yeah, because uh, the Bible was, the whole entire Bible based upon a promise, man. Right, so the scripture is a bit mind. Bring it out in a chronicle, um, first chronicles. We are always mindful of his covenant, man. Yo, this, 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 if you try, take the Bible from any other angle, you try to come up that way. You're going to be found a liar, man. Right. You're, you're going to be found a liar. Because right throughout the scripture, from Old Testament to New Testament, is the purpose why the Lord even come. Hey, you're supposed to regret that the prophecies are written in the Bible. Exactly. Your yeah, prophecies kill a dead, man. The prophecies kill a dead. God, no matter what you have going on, guess what? The prophecies, them not said that. Exactly. Hey, to the end. We know you can't pull out scripture and say David played the ark. We agree. 
You understand? But when you get in the, in the, in the, in the meat of the matter of what really is, them prophecies are going to line you up, man. Yep. If you're not in line with them. them up and swing them up alive. Yeah, exactly. See it, you have it? Alright, so this is Verse Chronicles 16, verse 30. Where it says, O seed of Israel, the servant, the children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Oh, hey, we, we, can't, we can't close the book there. You know what my tell me last night said? Say after the stone of Stephen, historically, the Yeshua say how oh, the most I done with Israel as a nation, a son and turn to the Gentiles. I say, oh, you, oh, you get that? And the Apostle Paul has shown you. And the Apostle in um, uh, Hebrews 8 and 8. And you understand what I mean? And you understand what I mean? Like Israel and Judah, right? So you remember the new covenant Israel and Judah? I must see it. Remember, 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 yeah. the Devon, the Devon, it's exactly the scripture. Yeah, yeah, remember, the Apostle's scripture. I don't understand what is the matter about the new covenant. And the new, and you must say, in the the scripture, we have the scripture, and the scriptures are speak about a new covenant in Israel and Judah. Yo, yo, you're lost, man. Yeah, yeah. Yo, if, if you believe in that, you must say, yo, it's the Gentiles. But, but the new covenant is for Israel and Judah. Yo. Yeah, the same man cut himself with the knife. Good, 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 man. Man, I have, I have other people. Serious? Well, look. And I look at him and say, yo. Other people in the room look and say, yo. No, man, something I go on there, someone there. Yo. Yo. I'm so pleased that I'm so pleased to say that, brother. Yeah. This is James 1 and 1. It says, James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Hey, Green. James. To the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad. And then try them best to omit these texts. And try them best to turn a blind eye to what the Bible is saying, yeah. saying man. Hey, it just stunned them like say, just play one of them. See? Them cuss. 